So about a week ago, I was just scrolling through Instagram, looking at memes, right? And I came across this meme that was like Lord Farquaad looking like Markiplier, and that was really cool. But then somebody requested to follow me. Now my Instagram is private because why the hell not? The guy that followed me goes by Finch9577, uh, and his name on his profile is Global Finance. Now his profile was private at the time of him requesting to follow me, so all I could see was his name and his bio. Now if we look at this carefully, uh, you can very, very quickly tell that something is not right here. So let's just read the bio here. I later found out that this guy was from Jamaica, but I can't do a Jamaican accent, so we're gonna make him Russian. Start the process, you'll need to first come up with the amount of money you would like to turn. Then go over to Western Union with your national ID. So that's a little weird. Right off the bat, he's, he's telling me to start the process. Now, he doesn't say what the process is in his bio. I just need to come up with the money I'd like to turn and go to Western Union. Yeah, that's cool. So what I thought was, you know, what's the worst that could happen by me accepting this guy's follow? And, um, Boy, was I surprised. <laughs> Shortly after he started DMing me, I requested to follow him, and, you know, we built up this sort of trust, so he did let me follow him. And looking at his pictures, it, it's kind of obvious what's going on here. Uh, but I just, I find all of these interesting just by the caption that he gave each and every single one of them. Do you interested in that deal? The special, I guess, is that you can turn $200 into $4,000, and they're all different. Some of them have captions, and some of them don't. But they all are just generic pictures. Most of these, I'm sure sure were just made on Instagram, like in the story feature. And uh, global finance and equity, I'll get into that later. So if we actually take a look at the beautiful messages this man sent me, about 20 minutes after I had accepted his follow request, uh, this is what he sent me. Hello, sir. Are you interested in making some extra cash today? You know, obviously I already knew this was a scam, but I like to mess with people, so I wanted to see where he was coming from. So, of course, I said, yeah, how much we talking? It's a process where you invest the amount that you want to turn, and your investment is multiplied by 10. For EG, $200 to $2,000. We process and edit this money in our system, and after 35 minutes, your $200 will turn into $2,000. This is a very easy and legitimate process. We also have a 100% money back guarantee, so it is risk-free. Transactions are done by Western Union. If you guys aren't familiar with Western Union, it's a bank transfer system. You have to like go to a store, or I think you can do it online, and you can transfer money to the Somalian prince who says that you inherited six million dollars if you only send him two thousand the point is no professional company is going to be using western union to make legitimate business transfers it's not that kind of a system if i'm not mistaken i think a lot of companies will pay for things in bulk to like chinese factories and stuff using western union uh because it allows you know quick transfer you can get it same day as opposed to mailing a chinese person six thousand dollars this process is approved by the u.s treasury department and the irs tax department gives a 100% approval of all transfers. So I said, who handles the money and what's your system? Like, I'm just trying to dissect this guy's scam and see what he's got going on right now. Our accountant will handle your money. And then he sends me this picture, 200 to $4,000 today only. Even though if you actually just go and look at his profile, you can see that he has the special thing posted from six days ago. So it, it seems like this special is something that's constantly going on. So I asked him, I said, do you have any certification for this? Yes, sir. I was asking to see his certification and he's just like, yes, we have it. It's, it's a thing. You got to believe us. So I said, and what is the appropriate certifications that you have how big is your company and how do you go about investing the money I said if you can show me what I want to see I'll transfer the money which is definitely not true but I was interested to see what he had to say the certificate is approved by the IRS department it's big in some country some country as in the US or Serbia like which what are you talking about here my guy to invest the money you'll have to get to a Western Union All right, so where am I sending this money to process only takes 35 minutes Jamaica, Jamaica. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman go mad. That doesn't even make sense, but it's funny. And how will you invest my money? As I said, this process only takes 35 minutes, so after you make the transfer, you will wait for your return at the same location. You can also do it online using the Western Union apps. Once again, how will you invest my money? 
How will you turn 200 into 2000? What is your process? He's like dodging my question because he doesn't want to answer it. Okay, this is the best response I could have asked for, dude. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like I've dealt with some stupid scammers in my time doing this before, but like this is this is this is the best, man. This is the coup de gras. This is the dumbest scam I've ever seen. After you make the transfer, our accountant, he adds a zero on the amount you send, then takes 10% and sends you the rest which is $1,800. And how does he do that? Where does the money come from? This guy's basically telling me that if I sent him $100, they would add a zero to it and just send it back. Like they're just, they just add a zero. It's just a money multiplier. It's a, it's a money multiplying machine. You put your money in one side, you know, there's a little fairy that jerks off on it and it spits it out on the other side and you got $1,000, bam. The money from outdated transfers gets moved into an account at Western Union trademark, and then it's used for refunds, which when given out are not recorded. That's what your new transfer will technically be, a refund. Western Union trademark has been around for a while, and the amount of outdated transfers are growing every day. This is what we use to make you money. We only gain your 10% investment, okay? Then he corrected himself. Outdated transfers, Western Union trademark, Transfers are only available for 365 days. One year. In case I didn't know. If the receiver hasn't picked up the funds in that time, the status of the transfer is then changed to outdated. Now, I didn't fact check this, but I'm sure if I went onto the Western Union website, it probably says that verbatim, like word for word, it probably says that. He probably copy pasted it in just to make himself sound professional. So I said, isn't that theft? Outdated or not, it's still other people's money, which is absolutely true. You cannot just take someone's money and just transfer it to someone else because somebody else didn't come and get their money. That's like someone forgetting their kid at a grocery store and you just give their kid to somebody else it just doesn't add up it doesn't make sense the money we are using doesn't belong to anyone anymore since it is marked unclaimed money and it's used for refunds anyways and refunds are not recorded as a client you can't get in any trouble at all those are famous last words and this is just straight theft as a client i would be taking the full risk going into this no it would be my money going in and coming out it could be traced directly back to me as a sender all it would take is someone to catch on and I'd have the SWAT team at my door. They ain't gonna show up asking to have a nice cheeseburger lunch with me. Either way, I do like money, so of course I'm interested. At this point, like obviously it's a scam and I just wanted to ride this guy out and waste as much of his time as possible. Uh, and you'll see in a little bit, I get absolutely ridiculous with what I'm saying. The point of doing this with these scammers, number one is to waste their time because if they're caught up with me, they can't be scamming someone else. And also it's really funny just to mess with them because they are so hungry to get your cash that they will literally take everything that you say with a grain of salt and just keep moving forward with it. No, you're safe and this is safe. Okay, sir? So would you like to do it online or at the Western Union store? I'd like to do it online. You will have to download the Western Union apps. Okay, how many apps? He said apps as in plural, so you know, it, it should be more than one, right? Western Union US sending money quickly app. Just one app. Just 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 the one. Do you have a link? I can't find it in the Windows store. I have a Samsung Omnia 2 running Windows 8, so I have the Windows store. <laughs> The Samsung Omnia 2 came out in 2009, guys. We're dealing with a whole new kind of person here. So, when you search for Western Union sending money online, what do you see? Or you could use Google. Okay, I see it. What do? And he sends me this link. I didn't click on it because I have no idea who this guy is or what he's capable of, but I'm pretty sure it's just the transfer thing on the Western Union website. How do I use that? Do you open it? When he asked me that, it made me want to open it even less, to be honest. Yeah, what do I do? It's in Spanish, I think. It should be in English. Try and change it to English. Where do I go? Everything was in Spanish. Or you Google search send money online using Western Union app. Just like you wrote it? Which one do I lick? Click or lick, either one. The last one. Then it lead you to a page then you press start now. So from this point, I think I was leaving my house or something. I didn't want to deal with this guy anymore. So I just kind of left him, you know, I'd left him to sit with his own thoughts. Uh, and the next day, I think that this was, yeah, the sixth at this point, he, uh, he messaged me again. There's nothing I respect about scamming, but I do respect the man's persistence. He really was trying to get that money in his terrible Instagram scam. So shout out to him for that. So I said, hi, I just woke up. I was thinking about this and I'm not sure I want to do it. Oh, really? Why are you not sure? Well, well last year I invested eight thousand dollars into a hedge fund and they did turn my money into fifty thousand that i have in a savings account but the company got busted by the government for stealing hubcaps off cars so they found out and taxed me a ton so i'm cautious to do this again oh okay i understand 
But this is legit. This is a same day process. What's to stop the government from putting in? I don't want to have problems. My dad may beat me with a spoon if I get caught doing this stuff again. Sir, I am telling you, there will be no problem. This is straight, sir. Trust me. How do I know? I don't know you at all. Why did you pick me as opposed to anyone else? Trust is the key factor when doing business, my friend. And you can trust me because I do business with integrity, honesty, and also I keep it 100 all the time. I'm serious about what I do and I get my clients paid upon their request hassle-free. This was random selections. <laughs> the dude used an emoji. He's supposed to be a professional, like, business associate. And he's using emojis telling me he keeps it 100. And that's really the biggest thing. If anyone ever comes to you offering to give you free money, I promise it's a scam. Like, nobody just offers free money for shit. That doesn't happen. Just like how I randomly follow you on the computer. Just adds people and sees how's interested. Okay, I trust you with everything. Even to watch my little sister and brother if you want. How much should I send? I have $17,592 available. Okay, sir. I need you to start with $900 first, and after that, you can do a bigger amount. And how much will $900 get? $1,800. That's kind of funny, because before he said that $200 would get me to $2,000, and then they take 10% and I'd get $1,800. So how, how is $900 only going to get me $1,800? He's, he's doubling it as opposed to multiplying it by 10, which is completely different from what he initially said. I didn't catch that before. I just saw that. So I said, that's a good amount. How do I do? I will go to location. I started talking like he did. Okay. That's the right thing. How long will it take you to get there? Five minutes. It's right up the road past the 7-Eleven. Bring your ID or driver license. Okay, I will go. Uh, what do I do when I'm there? Just let me know when you get there. I'll assist you. So I waited about five or six minutes, and it was, what was it, 4.16 p.m. I messaged him again, and I said, I crash car, hold on. So he responds, Oh my god, what are you saying to me? Hope you're okay. I bumped into the mail truck. Everything's okay, but mail spilled out. My car has a dent. Give me like 10 minutes. Glad it's not worse. Okay, no problem. Is everything okay? He messaged me that like 15 minutes later. So I left him hanging for another day. You know, it's the 7th of April now, and uh, we are just chilling, seeing what this guy has to say again. He messaged me. Good morning, sir. What's going on? Is everything okay with you? This is when it became really obvious that this guy was willing to do anything and say anything and believe anything just to get a little bit of guap in his account. I spent the night in jail because I got scared and hit the mail driver and ran. Oh my god, I'm glad you're out. I had to pay a fine and apologize to the mail woman. I guess she was pregnant. I just told him I punched a pregnant mail woman after hitting her truck with my car. I understand what you're saying. You should have stopped though. I am glad it's not worse. God is good. I just told this guy I crashed into a pregnant fucking male woman and then punched her in the face and then ran away. Not only did I only spend one night in jail for punching a pregnant male woman, also I got out and the first thing on my mind was making that money with Mr. Finch 9577. This man will truly believe anything you tell him because that's the kind of person he is. Good old Finch. So I said I was scared she wouldn't deliver my mail anymore, so I ran. I don't believe in God. I'm a Scientologist. Oh, I understand. Okay, no problem. Poor mail woman. I feel so bad for her. I wasn't even home to babysit my brother. He was stuck like poor Kevin McAllister. <laughs> I would too. Worse, she is pregnant. She isn't even that pregnant, though. It's not a big deal. Only like four months. Oh. But is everything okay now? Oh, okay, for real. So he was asking me if everything was okay because I said she wasn't even that pregnant. And then he saw that I said she was only like four months pregnant, which is literally like half of a pregnancy. You're only pregnant for nine months. So he's like, oh, oh, everything's okay now for real. We're good. She was only four months pregnant. The baby was only the size of a tennis ball. It's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. So are you still interested in making the transfer? I don't know if I should, man. The police are snooping around. They find me $10,000. Oh. I understand. Oh, that's a lot. As I say before, this is same day process. Not going to take an hour. But they will see me transfer money and not know why. It shouldn't be a problem. You just need to go to the Western Union. You would have to have the 900 in cash. I'm afraid they'll take me to jail, don't you understand? I already paid the fine, but they'll arrest me. They have my bank records. Once you get there, I'll assist you from how to sign up the form. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. You just need the 900 and your driver's license. That's all you need. So he's like, I see what you're saying, but I don't care. Get your ass to the Western Union with your fucking driver's license. That's what he's saying to me. I don't want to go to jail. It's not legal. And I don't want you to go too. So I won't go to jail today. Good plan. Yes, that's. So would you prefer to do it online then? I can't do it anymore. Oh, okay. Give me your cell phone number. I was like, no, I don't know you well enough for that. Why do you need it? So we can talk off Instagram. I don't know if this guy was going to text me or actually dead ass call me. 
but like I didn't know what he was capable of like I said that's why I didn't click his link so I'm definitely not giving him my cell phone number why do we have to talk off Instagram if it's going to be a problem never mind okay so I didn't message him for a day I kind of had to recoup and think about how I was going to go about this because I did want the chat to keep going I don't like to just end things abruptly I needed a good ending so I waited a day it's April 8th now and I messaged him first this time I think he was done with me but I messaged him first and I said no problem I got the cops to go away what do you mean by that is everything okay with you so I said everything is good now okay good to know please continue scammeroni on me please what are you saying i said please continue scammeroni i'm interested to see how this ends i literally just i called it i called it a scam twice i just i said twice it's a scam it's scammeroni ravioli fettuccine Danielle Brigoli. And he replies with, Okay, are you going to start the process? So I said, Yes, let's start the process. You send me $200? Yeah. Now, when I messaged him, it was about midnight, so that's why the date changes, but it is still the same session. But now I guess we're looking at April 9th. It's not how the process goes, sir. You know how the process goes. Stop playing around. We changed the process. You help me, I help you. I can turn your $50 into $2,000. If you go in with $50.53, I'll go in with the other $149. Okay. Okay, you will? All right, send me $50, please. Hello, sir. This is not a play, so stop playing around. I need to make that my Instagram bio really quick. Hold on. There we go. That's fantastic. Also, guys, please follow me on Instagram. I'm, I'm desperately looking for new followers. If this video gets like 100,000 views, like, please follow me. Thanks. You said okay, you would go in with me. We can both make money. Let's go in 50-50. You give me $100, I go in $100, and then we both get $1,000, same day. It's not how this process goes. Why not? If you're not interested, that's it. The $200 still arrives to your accountants. I'm not forcing anyone to do this. I thought this was a professional business. You aren't even willing to work with me? I'm giving you a bad Yelp review. Okay, thanks. You won't even help me. I just had to pay $10,000 because I tried to drive and do this for you. You don't need help, sir. Let me tell you right now, Papa needs a lot of fucking help. I do need help. I'm negative $10,000 because of you, because I fucking hit a pregnant male woman. If you need help, you would corporate. I would corporate? You want me to call corporate? What's what's the number? Well, corporate with me, and everything will go well. I am corporations. You are just not being nice to me. How am I supposed to trust you if you don't trust me? If you go in with me on the first investment, I'll send $1,000 to your company today. But without mutual trust, I cannot. So he sends me this message again. Trust is key factor when doing business, my friend. And you can trust me because I do all business with integrity and honesty, and also I keep it 100 all the time. So I said you sent me the exact same message two days ago. If you're not willing to start a trust investment with me i don't want to participate i'm telling you i don't know what he was telling me but i want to only work with serious people or are you not serious about making money i'm serious you're the one who's benefiting from this i am only getting 10 percent <laughs> yeah if you go in with a trust investment you'll get 51 percent are you new to investing god people do that no it seems like you are new i don't know why you do not want to corporate Oh wait, he spelled it differently. With the process. I'm not new. I made $9 million last year investing in small businesses, but I don't work with people who don't trust me. So bye, I guess. I could have made you a very rich man. It's okay. I'm not up for playing games. How is it okay? Just no, it's okay. If you really wanted to make money, you would get a job and work instead of trying to scam people on Instagram. It's kind of pathetic. And not scamming no one, sir. This is legit. I, I, I don't know, man. This is very legit. So I said you Google Global Finance and stole their name. It's a magazine. Think you need to do more research. Okay. All right. Let's um guys, it's 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 time. It's we're going to do more research here. We're going to global finance go, glo Oh, sorry. I spelt it wrong. Images. It, oh, wow. Look at that. Global wow. Look at that. Wow. Well, oh, what, what's the website here? GFMag.com? Oh my God, Global Finance. It's a magazine. Holy crap, I was right. If you guys are ever looking for a nice scam to pull off, definitely don't just Google something generic and steal the first picture that pops up. If you're really trying to get something going, either get good enough at Photoshop to make a fake logo or like go to the eighth page, like find something that I'm not gonna be able to find in two seconds. It was literally a 10 second Google search and I had busted this whole operation like wide open. Ridiculous. So I said, nobody invests through Western Union transfers. This this is the actual worst scam I've ever seen. More research? Then I googled global finance, clicked on global finance, and then I found global finance, the magazine's Twitter. Global news. Insight and analysis for corporate finance professionals. Register for our free digital magazine and newsletter. GFMag.com. They spelled corporate right on their bio. Maybe he should have spelled corporate right. Anyways, so once I sent him the picture of that, he said, Thanks. 
Nice talking to you. So he pretty much grabbed the L and held it hard, dude. Straight up. Things got a little weird at the end, though, because after I sent him these pictures, I was like, it's a magazine, my guy. Does this scam actually work on people? Who's dumb enough for this? And he said, your mom. So I, I replied with the only thing that I could. You know, I, I, I just, I hit him with the no you. There's no coming back from that. Once, if you get hit with a no you, you're done. Your, your life's over. So then he said up top, and uh, I think he wanted a high five because I, I exposed him. And I said, I don't want to touch you. You scam people. Hold the L. This is when things get weird. I'm not even going to do this in, in, in a voice. He's just, he said, LOL, fully Jamal, dunce things, dem, dun, d dunce thugs, dem out. Careful. So I said, I don't speak Rasta. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Six is real. I think he meant Drake. G City never die. This is incoherent. And then he responded with Draggy Dem. The weirdest part is if I go to my most recent picture, which is me at a party drinking communion wine in the house of Christ. He liked my Instagram picture. Like he went and he liked this picture. Uh, we were taking basic white girl pictures in the mirror and he liked my picture. I don't like, is he just an active follower now? Is he a bro? Is he gonna like all my pictures? I don't know, man, but you guys should go follow me on Instagram. I post some cool stuff. I mean, so that was my experience dealing with an Instagram scammer. If you guys have any similar experiences, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you made it to the end, I really appreciate you guys spending a few minutes of your day with me. It means a lot. I know this was a little bit different than the normal scam troll videos I post, but I mean, we're looking at, we're looking at Lord Farquaad Markiplier here. Like what, 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 what could be better? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day, guys. Don't get scammed out there. If somebody comes up to you and they're like, hey, here's some free money, it's, it's a scam. It's never real. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.